There are several ways to light a scene in 3ds Max. You can use the traditional method of using scene lights and creating a lighting setup that is functional. In the current scene, you can see that there is a traditional three-point lighting configuration with a key, fill, and backlight. As we render this scene, you can see that it looks clean and somewhat realistic. However, when we look at the lighting on the vase, it lacks variation and does not represent the lighting from the scene as we would like to see it. Let's take a few minutes and configure the scene to use a high dynamic range image as our lighting and background. What we are going to set up here is a simplified version of what can be created for image-based lighting in 3ds Max. First, we need to turn off the existing lights so they do not interfere with the IBL rendering. In the left viewport, click any one of the lights to select it. It doesn't matter which one, they're all instances of the same light, so changing one will change all of them. In the Command Panel, click the Modify tab. Look for the General Parameters Rollout Light Properties group. Deselect the On checkbox to turn off all of the lights. All the lights will change from yellow to black, indicating that they are off. Instead of using the Create panel, we are going to use the Search bar. This is a feature that allows you to search for a command by typing it into a type box. Click in the top viewport to activate it. Press X to open the search bar. When the search prompt appears, type Skylight. Notice that as you type, commands using the characters appear in the list below. As soon as you see the Skylight command, you can select it from the list. This will now allow you to create a skylight. Click once to place the skylight anywhere in the top viewport. Right click to cancel create mode. Select the modify panel. With the skylight selected, you can see the parameters in the modify panel. In the skylight parameters rollout, sky color group, select the use scene environment option. This will cause the skylight to use whatever the current scene environment is as an illumination model. Now we need to set the scene environment. Press 8 to open the Environment and Effects dialog. In the Common Parameters Rollout, Background Group, select the Environment Map button. This opens the Material Map Browser. Under Maps, Standard, choose Bitmap and click OK. This opens the Select Bitmap Image File dialog. Look for the file emptyroom.hdr and select it. Click Open. The HDRI Load Settings dialog opens. This dialog will allow us to set the exposure and type of image that we will use for the background. In the Exposure group, select the Black Point option. Set the Black Point log value, the top value, to negative 3.5. This will darken the shadow areas and give us more contrast. Set the white point log value to negative 1. This brightens the image. In the internal storage group, set the option to real pixels 32 bits per pixel. Make sure that both default exposure and display scaled colors by are deselected. And then click OK. Now open the slate material editor. If you've already opened the Slate Material Editor, you can simply press M to reopen it. For this next step, you will want to have the Material Editor and the Environment and Effects dialog box next to each other. Click and drag the Empty Room.HDR map from the Environment map into an open area in the Material Editor workspace. In the Instance Copy dialog, choose Instance and click OK. Double-click the map to show its parameters. We want to make sure that the coordinate type is set to environment and that the mapping is set to spherical environment. If these are correct, close the material editor. Lastly, we want to set the exposure value so we get a proper exposure. 
Right click to activate the Camera 1 viewport. In the Exposure Control rollout, click the Render Preview button. Notice that once the preview render is complete, the scene is very dark. To fix this, we need to adjust the exposure value. In the Mental Ray Photographic Exposure Control rollout, change the exposure value to negative 0.5. Close the Environment and Effects dialog and incrementally save the scene. That configures the scene for image-based lighting. The next step we need to do is configure the rendering. 